Anybody else from the family would like to share? Uh, anybody else would like to share? My name is Max Herbus, for those that don't know me, my sons are Philip and Lance. And I had the opportunity and the privilege to spend time with Richard Bump. He had this energy about him. I think there's a reason why they call him Bump. You know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, he had this power, this interesting power that came about him, even as a little kid. And one of the most uh, memories that I remember is my, my sons are Dodger fans and we went to a Dodger game. He's, you know, the guy's got energy. He's a little bit uncontrollable. You're in a car with a bunch of kids. Bump, sit down, bump. We're going to get there. It was the day that they let the kids on the field to meet the players. Everyone's excited. And Bump says, I'm going to get in there. I'm going to go in there. Hold on. Take it easy. We're going to get there. They rope everything off. You can't get everything. And I think he says, Andrew, pick me up. Andrew picked him up. Somebody picked him up in the air, right? Everybody's coming. And then... The, the catcher was Charlie Johnson for the, for the Dodgers at the time, new guy. Out of all the kids there, he comes up and he grabs him and he picks him up. And Bump is smiling like he knew he had it. He knew he was going to pick him. There's no question. That energy, that joy, and that transcended in everything that that guy did. I think one time uh, when he had a little bit of an issue or he had control with his mom, I said, bring him over. We were living in Hawthorne, he came over, he spent the week, we were cleaning the house, I had him work. And, and he had the sand, the paint off the stairwell iron, because we were gonna paint it. And I was trying to get to him and tell him, look, you gotta, you gotta have dirty work in this. If you're gonna you know, get to something, you gotta put some effort to it and work and understand what it is and do it right. And he did, he took his time. He just had too much energy, right? And I said, it, we'll get to it. You gotta get into the corners, you gotta get everything done, and then we're gonna paint it and we'll get that energy going. So he did that. He had the conscientious effort to be there and do that, and I can see that. He figured out, he asked questions, why don't we do this, why don't we do that? And it goes back to today, knowing that I had to come here and feeling really bad because it's not only a, a tragedy, a travesty, it's, it's a crime, you know? Oh. I have this thing, and I, I take care of the garden. And I clean. I, I get dirty. There's thorns there. I get, I get, I get, you know, bit. There's shit I gotta pick up. And I'm thinking that's kind of like life. We gotta do that every day. We gotta clean that stuff, pick the shit up. It's part of life. It's what we deal with every day. And he had to deal with something in in, in that particular circumstance that. It wasn't just, it wasn't right. Not only for Richard, but the Latino communities, communities of color where the, 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 the structure is bound against us. And he was almost there. And I applaud Lisa and the family to continue this fight. I'm, I'm here to help you because, you know, uh, it's gotta stop. So thank you. Bump. Anybody else would like to come? Uh. My name is Rosalie Matos. I'm Richard's Matos' grandmother. And the last time I talked to Richard, he told me that he received Christ as a savior and I was happy for him. And I told him, thank God you received him. And he told me, Grandma, tell my family and all my family to receive Christ as a Savior so they can be in heaven with me when I die. I told them, okay, Mijo, I will tell them. And that's this wish that everybody would be with him into heaven. He wants everybody to receive Christ as his Lord and his Savior. Save their souls. Please, Grandma, save their souls for me. Tell them I love him. I will, Mijo. Thank you. 